For several years, there has been a rise in the incidence in allergic reactions when using certain nail products. This has been both in the consumer market and the professional sector. Educated professionals have always been aware of the possibility of allergies and have learned to work cleanly, not letting many nail coatings touch the skin and making sure that all coatings are properly cured by using matching systems. In 2018, the British Association of Dermatologists published a report that, following a research project, the incidence of allergies in the consumer market was increasing and had reached epidemic proportions. We are all aware that monomers are one of the most allergenic ingredients in many nail products and must not touch the skin. This situation spilled over into the professional sector and many nail professionals and their clients were reporting mild to severe reactions. Some of these reactions resulted in a complete loss of nail plates. Others needed medical intervention in order to stop the symptoms. Many clients were and are unable to wear any type of acrylate based products and many nail professionals lost their careers. The only solution to this situation is to receive a specific dermatological patch test to ascertain the exact ingredients that were causing the reactions. But due to a shortage of dermatologists in the UK, this testing can take up to two years to achieve. This situation does not only affect the ability to have pretty nails, it also has far-reaching medical implications involving dentistry and orthopaedic procedures. Also, skin adhesives, important for diabetics and general wound first aid and skin closures. Many users have identified that some imported products from the Far East are not declaring correct and legal information for the relevant cosmetic products. Recent research into some of these products, and the references are attached, have discovered that a very high percentage of monomers are present that cannot be properly cured and remain trapped within the nail coating. This commonly applies to UV cured materials, but can also apply to liquid and powder systems when unmatched systems are used or an incorrect ratio is applied. Even more recent research has identified and proved what can happen when unreacted monomers are present in the coating or not removed from the skin surface. Let us look up in more depth into what proper curing means and then we will investigate further at what happens when this is not carried out correctly. Proper curing. This is the process of polymerization where the majority of monomers form the long polymer chains. They start as fluid and moving to a solid complicated network of polymer chains. Proper polymerization is when 80% of the monomers are now polymers. The remaining 20% or less will not cause any problems as in the liquid and powder system will continue to join together over a few days. In the UV cured coatings, a lot less than 20% can cause sensitization when released. An incomplete polymerization leaves unreacted monomers trapped within the coating. This applies to all acrylate coatings. Improper curing or an excess of monomers. If the curing of a UV gel is using a mismatched lamp that does not properly cure, then unreacted monomers are left trapped inside the coating. If the product has a very high level of monomers that cannot possibly be properly cured as they get trapped inside the polymers that have cured, this is what happens. If a liquid and powder is applied in the wrong ratio, which is usually too wet, there is not enough initiator in the powder, this is what happens. Here is a representation of polymerization using our dancing people. 
the monomers link together forming long chains. In an improperly cured coating, some of these monomers are left unable to link together, so are trapped within the network. You may think, so what? Let me explain. Some, but not all, of these trapped monomers are water-soluble, so every time you wash your hands, they leach out from the coating. But you don't even have to wash your hands. The unreacted monomers are in contact with water and lipids in our nails and skin and consequently can still penetrate. Skin is lipophilic, meaning it likes oils. So oil-soluble monomers can easily penetrate. Nails are mostly hydrophilic, meaning they like water. So water-soluble monomers can penetrate the nail structure. So those unreacted molecules have two paths to get into the skin structure. During removal using a buffing technique, the monomers are released onto the skin and into the atmosphere. During removal using a soaking method, the monomers are released from their prison onto the skin. This is the effect of improperly cured coatings. This is what has been causing so many of the unwanted allergic reactions for so many people. This situation can also occur when the inhibition or sticky layer is improperly removed from any UV gel top coat. And this includes the tack free or no wipe versions. If the surface is not cleaned correctly and is spread over the skin, monomers will remain. The nail plate itself is more of a barrier than the skin due to its structure, but the skin is very susceptible to the penetration of monomers. They can remain in the dust following shaping after a liquid and powder application. Correct cleansing must be carried out together with hand washing to remove any dust. New research and evidence of an additional problem that needs to be addressed. Recent research has identified a situation that scientists suspected but have now proved. Again, the references are attached. There are some natural oils that disrupt the skin's barrier capability. It has also been proven that they can act as penetration enhancers. What does this mean for us as nail professionals? It isn't a problem if good working practices are used, good quality and trusted products and an understanding of the science. I have just shown you how it is possible to have monomers left on the skin. Now let me show you what happens when oil or hand creams are used when monomers are present. Here you can see monomers or haptins, which is an incomplete antigen or allergen left on the surface of the skin. Oil is applied and surrounds the monomer. The oil penetrates the upper layers of skin, taking the haptin with it. Proteins such as keratin are in the skin and the monomer reacts with the protein and forms an antigen. An antigen or allergen, which our little monomer has now become, mobilizes the immune system, which rushes to see what it is. It is recognized as an unwanted toxin, so produces antibodies to attack it. The immune system will remember this toxin, which, remember, is a combination of the monomer molecules and our own proteins and will attack it every time it enters the body. This is when the allergic reaction starts and doesn't go away until all the antigens have been disabled and not discovered again. This is a situation that can be almost entirely avoided. Using good and trusted products, working cleanly and accurately, 
Also, using matching systems for both UV gel and its UV lamps, plus liquid and powder matching and with the correct ratio. In conclusion, monomers must not touch nor be left on the skin. The solution is for the client to wash their hands with liquid soap and water after application and before filing. Wash them again after final application, but before the application of oils or moisturisers. Applying oil on top of monomers can eventually cause an allergy. If too many uncured monomers are left in the coating, they can leach out and a client using good home care by applying nail oil will encourage the skin penetration. Use trusted and good quality products. Ensure a proper cure. Understand and believe the science.